G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. I've got a really, really exciting video today. I can't believe I'm actually making this video. Since I've had the R10 and since I've had GS Pro, you've always had to use a third device to connect your R10 to your computer to then get the data over to GS Pro. And this was always acting as a bridge. So I had one of my old mobile phones that I used as a bridge to connect the R10 to my laptop. And then we had to use the E6 portal. It got quite confusing and it got quite annoying because you kept having disconnects. There was a lot going on in the chain and there was a lot of chances for disconnects to happen. So this is why I love GS Pro and this is why I love the GS Pro community. One of the members on the Discord has worked out a way and found a way to connect your R10 directly to your computer. This cuts out the middleman. This cuts out the need to have a third device acting as a bridge. It's fantastic. I have tested it out and it works flawlessly. I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly run through how to get this and then I'm gonna show you what it's like to use GS Pro without using your mobile device and having to go in through the E6 portal. Another thing this will help is everyone who wants to play GS Pro offline. Now, I'm gonna to have to test this, but you shouldn't have to have an internet connection now because you're connecting the R10 directly via Bluetooth to your laptop. So as long as you have the courses loaded on your laptop, the only time you're gonna need internet is for the first little section where GS Pro checks your licenses. And then after that, you shouldn't have to have internet for the whole time you're playing. So that's really exciting as well. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is follow the link in the description, and I'll give a shout out to the guy who's done this. Um, he goes by Matt H on the Discord. Amazing job, amazing job. I can't believe you've finally cracked this. Okay, so what you wanna do, go into your um, browser and follow the link in the description. Okay, so I have uh, Google Chrome as my browser. I've followed the link in the description and I've come to this page. What you want to click on is underneath where it says assets and it has the four, you wanna click and download this file here, the GS Pro R10 adapter version 2.0.0 Windows X64 Bluetooth enabled zip. You wanna click on that and download that to your computer. Okay, so once you've downloaded that file, you're gonna be met with this page. You've got the GS Pro R10 connect and you've also got the GS Pro um, settings.json file. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the GS Pro R10 application and you wanna extract that. Double click on it uh, and it'll say uh, run or extract all. You wanna extract all because that is a zip file. Okay, and once you've extracted it, this is the page that you're met with. So now you've got the actual connector, the GS Pro dash R10, that's your actual connector. So you can make a little, uh, you can drag and drop that onto your desktop. You can drag and drop that onto your, onto your tiles down below. But then you also have the settings.json file. What this file is, is the file that allows you to edit all your weather settings. So humidity, temperature, altitude, things like that. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. You open it up in the notepad, and then what you're met with is this window here. So this will have all things like um, your IP and port, and then down here, you can look at your altitude, um, humidity and temperature. You also get air density. And I've changed mine to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And for all you people who like to have, you know, a little bit of an altitude boost just to help your distance, you can actually do that. So it's as simple as just deleting the zero and putting in say a thousand feet, um, and then just closing out of that save and now when i open that file again in the notepad it's going to have a thousand feet altitude in there all right so i'm going to leave it as zero but just know that you can change all of those weather settings to get a little bit of boost which you can do in the game anyway um, but if you like to mess with altitude that's how you do it Okay, and then from there, you've got your R10 connector. Okay, so now all that's left to do in the process is to pair your actual R10 to your laptop. This step is very simple. You go into your settings, go to the Bluetooth section, um, add a new device, and then what you wanna do is get your R10 and you need to put that back in pairing mode. So what I did is I turned off my Bluetooth on my, my phone that I was using as my third-party connector because I didn't want it to automatically connect to that. And once I did that, I got the Garmin, 
you hold down the power button until um, it turns on and you keep holding it down for an additional five to 10 seconds and then it will enter pairing mode. When it does this, it will come up as something that you can select and pair to your laptop. Once you've done that, you are ready to go. All that's left to do now is open GS Pro and get going. So my R10 is on, it is searching for a connection, the blue light is flashing. So now when I open up GS Pro, it's gonna go and look for any updates and then we will launch GS Pro. Okay, so I still have a blue flashing light. Okay, a little connector's popped up, which is good. All right, now I'm gonna click on the new connector. As Soon as I click on that, the little terminal pops up and it's going through its thing. The R10 is now connected. We do have a green line on the API Connect, which is good, and everything is now connected. So we are good to go. And just like that, we are ready to hit some shots on GS Pro using the R10 that's now got a direct connection to my laptop. Let's jump to the range and hit some shots. Okay, we're out at the range. I've got all my club data now on the left because this does club data. Let's move forward. I'm just gonna hit a couple of seven irons. First swings of the day. Stiff swing, but it works. It absolutely works. And that's fantastic. Let me get rid of that window capture there. Okay, we cleaned up the screen a bit there and it works guys. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna hit a couple more shots. I've got all my club data there now, which is exciting. We are using a direct connection now between the R10 and the laptop. There's no third party device. There's no logging into the E6 portal. There's no messing around. This is straight up R10 to laptop. It works and it's quick. It's super quick. That is seriously exciting. It works, it works flawlessly. I'm gonna definitely play around with this. I'm gonna go out and play a full 18 holes. I'm gonna test this in depth. This is one of the coolest things that's happened in this community. I'm really excited for this. For those people who've always had to have a solid internet connection, who can't have an internet connection, this is gonna help them out. The only time you're gonna need internet is to boot up GS Pro so it can check that it has the license and it can check for new updates. And then once that happens, you shouldn't have to have an internet connection. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.